You might be surprised at just how much we can know about fairy from a single tree, the ancient and powerful hawthorn tree. I'm Kitty. Welcome to Fairy Encounters. I have three incredible true stories showing the connection between fairies and hawthorn trees that will astound you. But first, let me tell you a little bit about this very special tree. The hawthorn is native to Ireland and has a long and rich tradition in Irish folklore. It's long believed that the hawthorn tree possesses healing powers. Generations of our ancestors have revered and protected the hawthorn tree. Without the use of fancy laboratories and research facilities, they recognised, as modern-day herbalists and doctors do, the immense practical benefits of the hawthorn on our health. But that's only half the story. There is also the spiritual power of the hawthorn. Have you ever passed a hawthorn tree and wondered why it has pieces of fabric or tokens hanging from its branches? People who suffer from an affliction of health offer something of their own to the tree in the hope or belief that they will tap into the healing powers of the hawthorn and that their affliction will be left on the tree with their chosen token. It is long known and well believed that fairy consider hawthorn trees to be sacred places too, places they are known to dwell where their music and dancing are heard. And, fair to say, they resent anyone who interferes with them. There was once a large hawthorn in the townland of Kiligali. It was there for many generations and local people would not dare touch it. This hawthorn tree was a landmark which could be seen from many counties around and was known as the Killigalley Lone Bush. Now, it was the custom at that time to have a large May bush around which boys and girls danced. They usually vied with each other to see who would have the largest, hawthorn May bush being the kind always chosen. A number of young men from Carrick Macross, wishing to have the largest, came and cut off the main branch of the Killigalley Lone Bush, pulled it with ropes into Carrick Macross, and erected it close to the old church. However, these young men had no chance for dancing and merrymaking around the bush, as many of them broke arms and legs while taking it into town. Then during the following year, many sudden deaths occurred among those who had taken part in the cutting of that hawthorn tree. Old people in the district begged them to take back what remained of the branch, as sad and pitying sounds could be heard around the remains of the old cut bush. But sadly, the courage of the young men failed them. And today, nothing remains of the once famous Killigalley Lone Bush. That huge old hawthorn tree was likely of significant importance to the fairy. Perhaps it held a spiritual significance, or it might have been important for practical reasons. It may have been the home of a whole family or clan of fairy and then it's just ripped out from under them. Maybe there was an important ceremony taking place within or under that very hawthorn tree when humans came at it with hatchets. You know, if we look at this from the fairy perspective, we can see that this was a monumental offence. Did you know that a hawthorn tree can live for 700 years? It's true. Just ponder that for a moment. So we can only wonder how important that huge old hawthorn was to the fairies. We know fairy live long. Could it be the very fairy who were dragged from the tree that day were the same ones who planted it or nurtured it 
hundreds of years earlier? Well, the next true tale reminds us that fairy are individuals. Each have their own temperaments and values and their own method of dealing with a problematic human. Take a look at this tale from County Galway. One day, some men were working on a road in the village of Lissy Connor. There was a hawthorn tree growing by the side of the road, and there was also a fort inside the fence. The foreman ordered the men to cut the hawthorn as it hung out over the road. They began to hack and cut at the tree, and when they had it half cut, a stranger approached the group of men and told them not to proceed any further with the work or they would be sorry. They did not stop cutting at the hawthorn tree, and a short while after, a man from the company came with a message for the foreman that his son was dying. It was only then that the foreman ordered the men to stop cutting at the hawthorn tree. He raced home to find that his son was quite well, and the hawthorn tree was never touched again from that day to this. So we can see that for some fairy, force just isn't required. These clever fairy recognised that it was the man who was ordering the destruction of the tree who needed to be stopped. They offered him a warning, which was ignored, before going on to give him an almighty fright that his son was dying. Sure, he might have needed to change his pants after that, but... They caused the man no actual physical harm, did they? And it seems as though their message was heard loud and clear by all involved and remembered by future generations too, as that hawthorn tree was never touched again. To this very day, you will see a solitary hawthorn tree stood in an otherwise empty field just quietly left untouched. In fact, farmers often put some type of ring around the base of a hawthorn tree for to protect it from machinery or even animals. But I wonder if there's another reason why fairy are so fiercely protective of hawthorn trees. Could it be they understand its incredible ability to heal and promote good health and longevity? Across the lake, opposite the hill, grows a hawthorn tree. In spring and summer, it is just an ordinary hawthorn tree, but in autumn, when other trees are preparing for the year's rest and their leaves are turning brown and withering, and in winter, when the other trees are bare and leafless, then this hawthorn tree is remarkable. Its leaves are still as green and plentiful as they were in the month of June. All the year round it preserves its leaves green and fresh and the local people say it marks the burial place of fairy gold. On this account it is guarded by the fairies and so must not be touched any more than trees that are growing in a fort. Several stories are told locally of the people who interfered with this tree and were punished for it. Those who did so unwittingly got such slight warnings as sore hands or legs caused by scratches from the tree, and these got all right again. But others who injured the tree through bravado were more seriously punished by broken limbs caused by falling on the way home, some of which resulted in permanent injuries. Perhaps to the fairy, a healthy hawthorn tree which lives for hundreds of years is better than a pot of gold, better than a football field of gold. A strong, healthy hawthorn tree could be invaluable. It could be priceless. It possesses properties which we know can benefit the health of humans. So isn't it possible that the hawthorn contains properties which also benefit the health of the fairies? Maybe we should look at the hawthorn tree, so highly valued by fairy, 
as much more than just their home or place where they hang out to dance and play music. As for hanging a cloth or token on the branch of a hawthorn tree in hope that it will take away our own sickness or disease, perhaps it's not the tree we're asking for help. Perhaps it's the fairy themselves. If you enjoy my videos and would like to see the channel grow, please be sure to give the like and subscribe buttons a cheeky tap and that shows YouTube that you enjoy this content. Until next time, stay curious and be kind. Cheerio!